Now, Good Morning Maryland at 9. Welcome back to Good Morning Maryland. You know, our weather department is just marveling over how cool it's been lately. They can't believe it. I just think it's been glorious. You're looking at a live picture of the Inner Harbor. Justin's going to have a full check on the rest of the week and what the temperatures look like in just a bit. But now to a hot topic that we want to discuss. It's a service that never expires and one that is easy to take for granted every day, all day. Firefighters in our community are ready to respond if you have an emergency. Well, there is a brand new rescue squad that we want to tell you about and show you at the Lutherville Volunteer Fire Company that is prepared for heavier, bigger missions. ABC 2 News' Cheryl Connor takes us to the fire company where the calls came in during her interviews. The call comes out around 9.30 on a Wednesday morning. A child is locked in a car in Timonium. In less than three minutes, firefighters from the Lutherville Volunteer Fire Company get dressed, grab their equipment, and get on the road with lights and sirens. One-year-old Cece watches as work goes on around her. The girl's father says he accidentally locked his keys in the car with her inside. A few minutes later, relief as firefighters pry open a door. Thank you guys so much. Cece is checked out by paramedics on the scene. And we're back on the truck with the men who rescued her. Their work is finished here, but they're always waiting on the next call. For so many of the men and women in the firehouse, firefighting is in their genes. Without a second thought, they agree to rescue others while often putting their own lives in jeopardy. And here in Lutherville, no one gets paid. Everybody is 100% volunteer, 100% of the time. It's a dedication of a lot of individuals, people that are lawyers, people that are shift workers, career firefighters, bankers, college students. Oz Cole is a senior at Goucher, but the firehouse is his college dorm. He signed up for a new live-in program that allows students to receive free room and board. Cole knows all about putting down the books and waking up in the middle of the night to respond. And I feel personally that it's more productive than sitting around, you know, drinking at college, which is what a lot of college kids do. There are about 100 active volunteers. Many of them live nearby. And when they're not here, they're wearing this pager 24-7, waiting on the next call. Now the volunteers at Lutherville have a new million-dollar tool, thanks in part to community donations. Basically what this is is a big toolbox. We use this truck uh, mostly to cut people out of cars. The heavy rescue squad is much more than a replacement for an old truck. The 10-ton crane on top is the only one around in Baltimore County, allowing volunteers to make bigger, heavier rescues. We would use it for most commonly as a car that's been overturned and it's on its roof. For a volunteer company, their numbers come close to career stations. Firefighters responded to nearly 2,000 calls last year from Lutherville. And for the call they dread, the response is the same. When fallen firefighters are taken to Delaney Valley Cemetery, the crane is raised and firefighters pause on the Seminary Avenue Bridge above Interstate 83. And with the crane, it just uh, it looks fantastic having the American flag up there. All the men in their uniform um, paying their respects to another fallen brother. The danger of firefighting is something most never consider when time is precious and a life is on the line. It gives you a nice feeling inside to know that you were able to, to help out when someone else was in need. In Lutherville, Cheryl Connor for Good Morning Maryland. Ah, great story there, Cheryl. Thanks. Okay, you bought it. You want to see it? They brought it right to our doorstep here. Dennis Fulton with the Volunteer Fire Company out of Lutherville. What's this truck like, Dennis? Well, it's excellent to have this truck in service. It's got the latest features that we can service the public even better, and it's got a lot of safety features to help the firefighters that ride it. Now, explain to me the reason that you needed the firefight, uh, the, the truck in the first place. See this car? Drunk driver hit it. When did this happen? Uh, this happened several months ago. We did have a plan to put this truck in service because the other one was getting older. It was 24 years old, but this expedited the need and that the truck was hit, did multiple thousand dollars of damage, and we need to get the new one in well, service. Show me what the equipment is. First off, introduce everybody, all the people that are going to be we have uh, Josh helping Cagle, us out. Josh who's our driver Josh. today. Jim Kenny, Gus Siegel's our officer. 
We have a couple fellows over here, Oliver Cole and uh, Mark McKenna. And Mark, of course, goes to Towson University. He's in, the, he's in that uh, program. The right? nursing uh, program down there, so he applies his medical in multiple Very ways. good. All right, show us what you have here. Well, we have a lot of tools here. Our primary things that we talk about are the cutting tools that we use. If somebody's trapped in a vehicle, we can either spread the metal away or we have what in essence are big scissors that we can cut the uh, metal off the car. We have rams that we use to push a dash if people's legs are trapped beneath those. We have airbags that are here if we need to lift something. So we can do that. You can see the fellows are holding some of the tools for either the spreading or the cutting here. Oh, man. And this is all on this truck. Hey, Josh, since you drive this truck, how, how is it to drive? It's, ac it's actually uh, pretty easy to drive. It has uh, brand new disc brakes, so it's pretty easy to stop compared to the other one. The turning radius isn't quite uh, what the old one was, but uh, it's a gem. And people get out of your way? Uh, they try uh, to, they not try always. To. All right, take a look. Here they are. They have their boots down here. You know, what, what's it like for the community to support? Uh, this doesn't end here. Just because you have a new fire truck does not end the fundraising that we need to because a lot of people get the fire companies mixed up with the volunteer fire companies, don't they? Right. We do most of our own fundraising. We get a small subsidy from the county, but we have to put it together, and we've continually done this in our entire existence. Again, this year we're going to do a bull roast as a fundraiser because even though we're paying for the truck, we're going to try to expand our building. We actually had to take a wall down to be able to fit this new vehicle in Whoa, so we could get it in there. So, you know, we're really, you know, kind of living on borrowed time with that building. All right, take a look at the new building that they want to put up here. And this is it. This is a artist's rendering of what it's like. And again, this is going to be the uh, Lutherville Volunteer Fire Company's third annual Bull and Oyster Roast. And it's coming up on October the 10th from 6 to 11 at the Timonium Fairgrounds. It's a good time. And we really appreciate all the support the community gives us. They've really worked with us in the past a good bit, and, you know, we want to service them the best we can. All right, Mark, I'm pulling them over here. Come here, Mark. Now, Mark, explain this program here. We did a story a, a while ago. You go to school, you become a volunteer fire company, and all of a sudden things are working out for both of us, right? Right. I mean, it's, it's a nice little, I guess, joint venture where we get to, you know, serve the community, but at the same time we have you know like a a bunk to ourselves, and well we share a big one large bunk room but yeah. we each have our own little bunk that and our own study lounge so it's 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 a nice break from the typical college life very good mark well gentlemen thank you very much continue good luck at lutherville all right dennis get in the truck there and give us a siren will you come on toot it come on we're going to play like we're 12 years old again again this is the lutherville volunteer fire company the brand new truck that they just brought by here you go let's go Fire it up. Back inside to you guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>